the one, three, one, two, three, four, five, zero, tab, and then six, one, five, five, zero. And then we're gonna take the difference between these two. And when we take the difference, I'm gonna take uh, the current year minus uh, the prior year. So it's gonna be equal. I'm gonna take 2000X5 minus the 2000X4. And so that difference then represents it increasing for the asset. Now note that I've, this is going to be a debit for us now. So we're going to have to deal with that issue we have to deal with whenever we convert from plus and minus to debit and credit. This is going to be for us debits and credits because that'll make an easy check figure for us uh, that we can then just be sure that we're in good, we're in balance. And that'll make it easier for us to then just convert this, just another puzzle to just change the formatting of it to get to a cash flow statement. Okay, so we're gonna do the same for accounts receivable. So accounts receivable will be the next item here. And the amounts there are gonna be the 771, 80, 550, and we'll subtract this out, equals this number minus this number. Now, again, that one, of course, went from, went down. So this is a debit and credit, and it went down with that item. So then we're gonna to go to inventory. So inventory we had here, it's gonna be the 246 and the 257. We'll subtract those out. This number minus this number equals uh, this cell C5 minus D5. And that'll give us the 10,100. And then we'll go to prepaid expense. Prepaid expenses, 15,100, 17. Subtract those out. Now, if this something goes, goes wrong and we're not in balance, that's okay because we're going to sum this up just as we will with any kind of trial balance and go fix any problems that we have. So if I mess something up, then I'll, I'll go back and fix it here. So there we have that. Now we're going to skip the total current assets. We don't need this. That's that's We're going to put it back into a plus and minus or a debit and credit format from a plus and minus format. So the next component is going to be equipment. So it's within property, plants, and equipment. The equipment. And that's going to be the 262, 250, and the 200. And we'll, so now Excel's starting to remember the formula and it did it for me there. So I just did the, the math there, which is nice. I'll let Excel do that. And so then we got accumulated depreciation. So we'll pull this over. Now this is going to be a bit tricky. Note that here it's a positive number, but over here it's going to be a credit because